Ta-da! Hello guys, guys, I'm super excited to have you here. Today we are going to be reviewing the amazing Airtel 5G router. So this is the ZLT25 wireless router and I'm so excited from the design and the fear alone. I feel super super excited about this. So whether I have the MTN or the Airtel version of the X25 router, this video is perfect as they are produced by the same manufacturer and they have the same model and same specification so, so without further ado let's go into unboxing this amazing uh device from airtel uh we'll, this video also look at like the design the setup and everything you need to know about you know getting started with this awesome technological piece so without further ado let's go to unboxing <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is the design, right? So it has this smart post 5G. So Airtel, the Airtel logo. So then you have this minimal design. So it's 4G, 5G, um, Wi-Fi, then on button and WPS uh, button. So this is the design. So at the back here, it has this where you put your SIM card. So this will be your SIM card. And it has a type C. It has a type C port for charging. So it's pretty nice and I love the design. The overall design looks very minimal. So let's look at other things that you came with. So here, this pack, then the MTN SIM pack, right? So it's like, came with MTN SIM pack. And um, yeah, so like the manual on how to set it up. So which I recommend you go through. Then, then now it comes with a LAN cable. So this is a LAN cable that it came with. So the LAN cable, during the connection process, we are going to like state that off. So this uh like the same part, then the power cable. So it comes with the power cable. So that you connect to so okay, this way you connect the power. So during the setup procedure, we are going to use that power, then here you connect your LAN in case you want to use uh you want to use connect directly to your phone, right? Then here so let's look at this surprise pack, what is in here. So here, wow, it comes with an additional power bank. This is so nice. So this is so nice. So this is very, very resourceful. When there's no light, you can still use the Wi-Fi. So unlike the the Nokia, the, the Nokia and Beacon 2 hotspot. So basically, I also did a review about the Nokia hotspot, um, the Nokia Beacon 2 Wi-Fi versus the, AT, the AT, uh 25 router which is better so you can check the video in the so I, I will leave the link of the video on the screen so that you can just choose because this is one of the advantages it has over that right because without where there's no power you cannot use that so without further ado let's go into setting up like the video setting up the device so for the setup so let me quickly run you through the setup so i have my agency sim that was giving me so i'm going to like open my sim so it is a nano sim right not a micro sim so here here so you put the same so there's a line of action here that indicates how to put the same so you can see let me take it closer so you can see here so you can see that this seam has to be inverted like this right so you put it this way like the photocycle place will face you then you push it in now you hear a clicking sound when you do that then you have successfully uh con like install the seam correctly then you put this so this is like the lid so that protects the seam from falling off from water or any spills then so we are done with this seam then and um, here is the power cord so here it has two options for power right so you either use like the power bank which you either use the power bank which i feel is comes very very handy or you connect to dc like direct current right so here to connect this you should come here you, you just put it here you put it here now and you power it on so it has place to power it so this place I tell you you can charge it too so if you want to charge here so here you power it on you turn here and power it on you see it comes here so it's fully charged when it's fully charged you see it's like this so you can also charge the power bank if it goes down so use this use this to charge it so you to charge you connect it here right to charge 
so um that's it so when you charge it right when there's power you're going to see this green thing over here right that it's on so and the cool thing with this right it has a magnetic now one of the cool thing i love about the design is that like the under part is magnetic that and here they have like some magnets here that magnets it so you can see like and see the electromagnetic force here yeah so it rests perfectly on it so you can just put it like this and you are good to go so here you can see there's 4g network here so like the network is kind of terrible in my living room so here when it shows green that means now there's network green or blue there's network right there's a browsable network but when it shows red or yellow then it's you cannot browse with it right then here is a kind of network that is available so this lte so this is a 4g network then here wi-fi strength okay then here power then this the wp as button like the reset so let's connect to uh device so here i have my laptop here i'm going to connect it to my laptop and so that we can just confirm like the speed so here i'm going to disconnect uh my iphone my iphone is currently connected to my laptop so here let me quickly like connect to the hotspot so now you'll be wondering so let me disconnect here now you'll be wondering how to get the password right so here so this is the thing it is a password this is the network so funny enough like in new york man has it too right so that's why it's trying to so here you click on it so to get a network is pretty easy right? like the password now you see security key here now you can see security key so uh user password i mean so this is like the default here then you see this wi-fi key this wi-fi key this is where you get your key so you just impute it on your your laptop and you'll be good you'll be good to go so here you take the security key so you just copy that just type that out so four five d so caps lock four five d six eight four nine f then you click on connect so by the time we're done with the connection one of the things that we also do is that test the internet speed so like this okay so you can see it's connected on secure right so let's try and browse with it right so let's browse with it so we focus so let's browse with it and see so let's open chrome and uh, here hello hello world so look at how fast it is so it's pretty fast so what we'll do is we are going to test the internet speed and see if because from the pack here they promised us that here from the pack they to the now the lt25 is a 5g wireless router capable of 2.5 1.2 gigabytes per second that is this the download speed on 5g and up to 400 574 megabytes per second on 4g this offers up to 10 times the usual 5g 4g speed on the standard router perfect for gaming and smartphone solutions so this is actually good so let's put it to test so right now you can see it's currently on so the network is kind of bad here but it's on a 4g so let's text that and let's confirm that so i'm going to go to uh my system and just check that out so here we are going to like test uh, test Wi-Fi 